Howdy folks, Team is here and I just recently picked up uh, a new piece from Empire Toy Works, uh, aka Chris uh, Shaler, um, and here's his business card. He no longer sends these to me because I already have one and I've already, you know, just get stuff from him on a regular, kind of, sort of, but yeah, if you can see this, not too blurry, that's, uh, you can go check him out on the, on the Gmail and at the... EmpireToyWorks.com and on Facebook, and he's also on Instagram at EmpireToyWorks. But um, but yeah, really cool, really cool guy that makes some really cool stuff. But um, yeah, very very cool. But I got this uh, wall ruins. It's like a gun tower, but a, like a ruined wall basically. And um, I put up some figures alongside it just to show you the comparison of the the range of figures that you could put next to it, which are three four, you know, three fourths inch, three three fourths inch, and uh, four inch figures basically you could use for like you know microman gi joe star wars acid rain you name it you can pretty much throw it up on there and it works it works it's awesome it's an awesome piece and right now we just got you know uh bumblebee and this little disney chick that i got from my buddy john gaither and uh and we got one of the new vitruvian hacks uh fellows up top right there on top of the that right there so it's cool next to the gun and uh it's a really cool piece um this piece right here whoop, comes right off, and you can use it as a separate gun, which is cool, like a little separate cannon, which is neat. You can just use it for like a mortar thing or a laser thing or whatever, just, you know, it's cool. And uh, let me move these figures out of the way. And then right here at the top, it's cool because he did this casting of this other piece, which is pretty cool, so it looks like you could, you know... Uh, he has an example pick where he has like an acid rain figure like you know pretending like he's working on it and stuff so you could do that you know and uh this really cool detail he put into this this piece it's really beautiful really nice you can see he did some dremeling in there it's like kind of like bullet holes cool cracks and stuff like that and it's solid wood and then here's this piece i don't know where he got it from if he got it from some star wars stuff or a model kit or something but uh, it looks cool. It looks cool on there. And then here's the side. He did this. This is some nice uh, wood sculpting right there. It's really cool. Looks like it's just like totally broken apart. So you got that back and front. Yeah, and just this cool like little electrical box thing. It's just a, it's just a nice touch. And um, I've seen people try to copy his work on um, eBay. And I just think it pales in comparison to, uh, the, like, yeah, just, uh, if you want to buy something legit, buy from him. I mean, there's a lot of people that make diorama stuff, but I've seen some people charge thousands of dollars to over, I don't know, just way too much money, but I think his prices are really reasonable. I bought this for about 66 bucks, I believe, 65, 66, and I think it's worth it. I think it's a worthy piece. Um, I'm going to continue to keep picking up some of his pieces just because I think they look great, and I'd like to just build enough of a, um diorama set up to you know it, it, just to have a cool display because i have a lot of figures that would go well with this stuff and um and just i like his work and i think it's worth it you know and just really it's really nice piece you could do a lot of different things with this you could do a whole um like uh rogue squadron setup or something or you could just do like a regular like Tatooine set up with it, or you could use it with your G.I. Joe's, your Acid Rain. You could use it with just about anything. Cause it's really cool. I like it a lot. I really do. But yeah, that's the, the Ruin Tower. And my buddy Adapa 11, who I'm going to mention a lot, he's a cool guy. But um, he's got like the big tower, like the big wall. He made a, a even bigger wall that Adapa 11, my buddy Adapa 11, bought that's even bigger than this, like way bigger. And, uh, and that that thing is cool, and this is kind of modeled along with that a little bit, but uh, the 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 one that my buddy Top Eleven has is just like way, just, it's a huge piece, and uh, that piece is killer. It's like so, and I believe uh, he custom makes pieces that Chris makes. Uh, yeah, but I guess you just have to get a hold of him and see what's up, and uh, or just follow him on uh, you know the Facebook and the Instagram and stuff like that. And I'll leave those links in this video for you to go check out and stuff, and uh, just give him a shout, you know. And, uh, yeah, uh, I check every once in a while because I follow him on Instagram and he'll post, you know, from time to time what he's selling. 
and you just when you see a good post you go okay i'm gonna go check it out and you usually have a few things you have some really cool accessories that are worthy and you know and yeah so i'll, I'll quit babbling anyways uh i'll leave the links you go check it out if you're just stumbling upon this or if you needed me picking these up this is probably my fourth review of one of his pieces or one of his sets so yeah it's just really worthy so uh if you just scroll down look through my history and stuff of videos you can find other videos that i made of my prior toy work stuff anyways uh thanks for stopping by thanks for watching and yeah uh go check them out and if you liked it just holler at him and pick some of his pieces up because they're great anyways thanks for watching and go play with your toys all right have a good one later